Hello, thank you for joining us for our next video. We are going to show you a new brand and a new product to us from a Noto. They're an English fountain pen manufacturer. They've got quite a history. They've been around since 1905. Uh, they brought out the first self-filling fountain pen. They produced pens for several years and then there was a bit of a hiatus where they were um, no pens were in production. They've been revived relatively recently. Um, so you can read about the history online if you want some more detail about it. But we're going to have a look at their new entry level pen, which is, um, I say entry level, um, you know, it's not, this is not a, a cheap fountain pen. It's a good quality um, and expensive pen, but it's the entry level into the Anoto range. So this is called the Scholar. Um, so this is the gift box that it comes in with this nice gold embossed logo on there. Um, quite uniquely actually, um, what they've decided to do with the Scholar is include a leather pen roll with it. Sorry for the noise of the packaging, I'll just take that out. So actually it comes in one of three colours. These pen rolls are available separately from an Oto um, uh, to protect your pen, but with the Scholar they give you one. So they come in either rust red, blue or black. So this is a black one. Inside here then you'll see it's got a pop button fastening with the Anoto logo on it and the Anoto branding embossed there. Um, and then when you open it up inside here, we've got a velvet pen pouch, again with the Anoto logo on it, with a drawstring top. So if I open that up and take the pen out, you can see the pen for the first time. So this is the Highland colour. So the colour scheme on here is supposed to represent the, um, the colours of the Scottish Highlands. This is a gold trimmed version, so there are um, gold and silver trimmed versions of all of the colours. You've got the logo in the end of that, so I'll try and get it to focus on, there we go. Screw fit cap. And then here is the nib, number 7 size, so it's stainless steel, gold plated has number seven on it so it's clear that it's a size number seven and then this has got an M next to the seven so this is a medium width. We've got stocks of mediums, fines and broads. The nib actually is the same regardless of which colour of pen you go for uh, and which trim of pen you go for, the nibs, the nibs are the same. So the barrel then screws into the grip section and you have an international standard converter which is gold plated with an auto branding on it. So that fits into place in there. It's quite a good snug fit, so that's not gonna that's not gonna come out very easily. There we go. So it'll take international standard ink cartridges in both a short and long length. So we'll screw that back onto there. So there you go, it's quite a good size. I've got for comparison um, just out of shot a Lamy Alstar. So it's pretty much exactly the same length actually there's probably about a millimeter in it similar diameter as well which is quite a good size of pen similar sort of weight actually I will weigh it in a moment and put put some dimensions up at the end of the video but they they feel um, relatively similar the other is probably just a smidge heavier so actually I'll leave that one out and I'll open up some of the other ones so you can see I've got a selection of the colours here. If you have a look on our website you'll see the full range that's currently available. So there are quite a few variations. So this one is the pen roll in the blue colour. So you'll see that this leather um, gets a patina. It's one that can be distressed. It's sort of a matte finish. Um, there's the logo, the embossing is a bit more subtle on this because the leather is different. Inside then you've got the same velvet pen pouch. So here is a navy blue one with silver trim. So just as a comparison you can see that the design is the same but it's quite a, quite a different feel having a different resin colour and a different Colour to the trim. So you can see that it's got big wording in there that says Anoto, and then as you continue to rotate it round, it says Scholar as well. There's the detail on the clip, logo, 
with then the chevron arrows pointing down as the clip gets thinner. The clip is quite a strong spring, so that's going to stay really well in your pocket as it's clipped onto. Here's the logo on that end. Didn't show you the opposite end, there's nothing on there, just the resin curving around. There we are, focused. So I said that the nibs were the same regardless of the trim, so here you still have the same size 7 stainless steel nib, which is gold plated. And then inside here, because this is a silver trimmed version, you've got the international standard converter but it's now silver in colour rather than gold plated. So if I open up the final box, you can see the third colour option for the pen sleeve. The pen sleeves are randomly um, allocated inside, inside the boxes. Uh, we could swap them around if you have a specific um, requirement but they're they're randomly packed so it's not the case that a blue one always comes in a blue a blue roll for example so if you had a preference and you wanted to buy one please do let us know in your checkout notes that you particularly want for example a blue roll with a blue pen and we'll do our best to accommodate it as I said they're random so it may be that we don't have it but um, we will try to do it if we can so this color which looks um I guess it looks brown on the video it is quite brown it's called rust red so it's sort of a chestnutty brown with a with a, a hint of a red coloration to it same velvet pen pouch and this one there is red with gold trim so it's quite a quite a different look and feel in the different color variations so as i said this one's available in silver this one's also available in gold, this one's available in silver, and there are a couple of other colours too. So please do have a look at the website to see what's currently available. Um, yeah, we think they look really good. They feel like a good, robust pen. The attention to detail is really good on them. Um, so we're excited about this new brand. Hope you are too. I'll just put a few handwriting samples up now of the different nib widths. So here are the handwriting samples for the three widths of an Oto Scholar fountain pen that we have in stock. So firstly, there's the fine width. That's written with one of our own in-house chartist inks, the People's Charter colour. Then there's the medium width, which is written with our John Frost ink. And then there's the broad width. Please excuse the fact that I've smudged the word Anoto. I guess that's a risk of using a broad nib and a sheening ink. All three of these inks sheen, actually. So there's the nib width option. So there's not that much of a width difference between fine and medium. But then you can see that broad is quite a bit wider. Thanks very much for watching. If you found this video useful and interesting, please do give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it with other like-minded pen fans. And uh, consider subscribing to our channel too, because you'll then get updated every time we upload a video like this. Thanks very much. See you again soon.